Hampton Court Palace was a simple train ride from London and we were so glad we went there. The train lets you off just a short two block walk from the entrance, crossing the River Thames on your way. You can take a boat ride on the Thames there if you choose. Hampton Court Palace was the home of Henry VIII and his six wives, Catherine of Aragon, Anne Boleyn, Jane Seymour, Anne of Cleves, Catherine Howard, and Catherine Parr. Princess Christina of Denmark was offered the chance to become his wife, but remarked that if she had two heads, one of them would be at the King of England's disposal. When we arrived, we saw that the gardens of Hampton Court Palace are an important part of the visit there. They are beautiful and cover many acres. The gardens host vendors and festivals during the summer, and a visit there is a great way to spend a summer day. We were there on the last day of the Tulip Festival, and the flowers were lovely. The entrance into the palace courtyard takes you through Anne Boleyn's arch. The court features a fountain that not only bubbles with water, but is still able to bubble up with wine. On the day we visited, there was a private wedding taking place in the palace chapel. We were serenaded in the courtyard by a lone bagpiper announcing the newlyweds. We got to watch the wedding party leave the chapel and walk through the courtyard. One of our favorite rooms was Queen Elizabeth's kitchen a large kitchen workroom with an enormous hearth. They sell tea, snacks, sandwiches, and pastries there. And it's fun to know you're eating in the same kitchen where cooks prepared hundreds of meals daily for Henry and then Elizabeth and more. The palace was built in the Tudor style of Henry's day, but over the years, rulers added on and decorated it in the style of their own times. It is really a collection of buildings, all enclosing the various courtyards. The Great Hall, drawing rooms, private bedrooms, and more. From Tudor to Baroque to Georgian, the palace features thousands of paintings, housing both the Royal Collection and the Cumberland Art Gallery, and the most amazing tapestries that remain from Henry's immense collection covering the walls. Another one of our favorite rooms, the Queen's Privy Chamber, has elaborate gowns and suits display, as if on mannequins, but there are no figures wearing them. They are all done in a beautiful cream color. It's rather ghostly and the effect is wonderful. It feels like you're in the middle of a dream or a memory. We loved it. Hampton Court Palace was a fun place to visit. It was easy to imagine past rulers and their families residing there, living in the luxury of their times. That is, of course, until they were beheaded. Well, thanks for watching. We hope you will share this video, and if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and happy travels. Then she'll be a true